Welcome back. Breast cancer is the most common form of cancer that affects American women. And studies show that black women are especially vulnerable to serious issues due to in part by health care disparities. Joining us now is breast cancer survivor and Promise Fund patient Brenda August. Brenda, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. We want to start with talking about your journey. So tell us a little bit about how and when you found out about your diagnosis. I found out about my diagnosis in July of 2020. I found that I came upon the lump myself. I was, you know, taking a shower and I found this lump and, you know, it was, you know, devastating because I didn't know what I was dealing with at the time. I've heard about breast cancer, but never thought that, you know, I would be affected by something like that. But, you know, so um, the first thing that came to my mind at the time is how am I going to deal with this? Because prior to um, me finding this lump in 2016, I did an early retirement from my job and um, I could not afford the insurance that was offered to me at the time. So I did not have any insurance. And for three years, I went without insurance. And for three years, I did not follow up on my regular uh, screenings, um, you know, breast uh, mammograms and things like that. And so here I am now, I didn't know which way to turn. And thank God at the time, my daughter worked for a nonprofit organization that, um, you know, they work within the community. And she said, mom, you need to come to fun care. And, you know, let's see what's going on. And they you know, we'll work from there. And so I went to Fun Care and saw one of the doctors there. Um, she was very, very, very supportive. And she said, don't worry about anything. We'll order a mammogram for you and an ultrasound and we'll see, we'll move from there and see what happened. And I'm thinking in my mind, oh my gosh, but how am I gonna pay for this? And um, <clears throat> come to find out, there's this um, organization called um, the Promise Fund of Florida. Um, someone contacted me from um, that organization, a navigator, and she went through my financial, um, you know, issues. And, you know, from there, I was able to not worry about the financial part. They helped me with both areas areas, the physical and the financial, you know, it's not, it's enough that I had to worry about the fact that I was diagnosed eventually with breast cancer stage two. Um, but the fact that, you know, having that burden of, you know, trying to um, figure out how am I going to um, afford treatment. And so I thank God for promise from the promise fund, fund of Florida organization. They helped me through the process. And, and we know that there are some disparities. We know that there are people out there who find out about these diagnoses and then don't know where to turn. And that's where, um, you know, organizations like this really help people out and it really helped you out. And you are now in remission, which is absolutely wonderful. Congratulations. I'm glad you are, are better. Can you talk a little bit more really quickly about some of the other disparities that perhaps you've seen in some of the underserved communities in our area? Yes, I, um, I think it has a lot to do with poverty. Um, in the community, um, some, you know, with, in, with my issues, the first thing I thought about is how am I going to afford this? And I thought, okay, maybe I won't be able to get the help that I needed. I did not know there, there, there are organizations out there that can help us, um, uh, especially um, in the black community. You have, you know, uh, women that are not working. We, we, we have children. We have to take care of our families. And the first thing we think about is, okay, you know, I have, I, I can't afford to go and get a test. So I'm, I'm just not going to worry about it. And my advice is take the opportunity. Um, there are community organizations that can uh, provide this information to you, you know, to go out and get the help that you need. And, you know, recovery is important when you're faced with uh, sickness. And so I thank God for, um, um, the Promise Fund of Florida. I thank God for these communities uh, where we have organizations such as the Promise Fund of Florida that will pay for your 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 mammogram, your ultrasound, your surgery, um, your biopsies. You know, all these things will be covered. Yeah. 
if you need it. And, and that's a really, really good point. You, you're, you're speaking about it firsthand saying, listen, I didn't know what I was going to do. So it's a message to other women out there to go and get a checkup, find these resources available. We really appreciate you sharing your story again. So glad you're doing well. We do have more information about the Promise Fund of Florida. You can go to promisefundofflorida.org or simply call the number 877-427-7664 for more information. There's help out there. You don't have to go through this alone.